There are three cameras on the DJI Mavic 3 Pro. There's the Hasselblad camera at the bottom, there's the Mini and telephoto lens, and there's the long distance telephoto lens. And they work on zooming one to three times on the Hasselblad, three to seven times on the medium zoom, and seven to 28 times on the other zoom. So that's from one minimum to a maximum of 28 times zoom across all three lenses. In this video, I'll show you the two different ways of switching between all three lenses from the Hasselblad through to the medium zoom through to the full zoom. The main camera is a Hasselblad 4 thirds CMOS sensor, which is good in low light and it has a field of view of 84 degrees, which is equivalent to a 24 mil lens. And it has a variable aperture from 2.8 all the way up to 11. The zoom on this camera is from one times up to three times zoom. Here we're looking at the 16th green from at least 200 meters away and we're zooming in from one all the way through to three. I'm doing the zoom by using the right wheel on the controller. Then I'm gonna come back out from three back down to one, back out to about 200 meters. And I'm in the normal video mode on the app. The second camera is a 1 over 1.3 inch sensor with a field of view of 35 degrees, which is equivalent to a 70 mil lens. This camera has a fixed aperture of 2.8. And it has a zoom from three times up to seven times zoom. I'm now going to click on the three times zoom there and zoom in. And what you'll see is that I'm off center. If you look at the flag on the green, I'm going to have to move the lens up a bit now and then zoom in again and move it up again. It's actually easier to start at seven and come back from seven to three. And then you've got the zoom point in the center. So if I went back in again now, that zoom would be right in the center. The third camera has a half inch sensor with a field of view of 15 degrees, which is the equivalent to a 166 mil lens. And this has a fixed aperture of 3.4. And you can zoom on this camera from seven times all the way up to 28 times. But anything past seven times is not that sharp or professional. I'm now gonna click on the seven time zoom and we move straight into seven times and now I'm going to zoom in again. And this, We have the similar problems we had before in that the flag on the green is not right in the center. Now I'm going to zoom in to 12, 16, 18, 20, 28. And you can see it's quite blurred at 28. It's a little bit too blurred to really use in a video. And then we'll zoom back out with a flag in the center and black to seven there. The last three zooms were in normal mode. We're now going to click onto explore mode and I'll show you how this works with the zoom. When explore mode is selected, you can zoom in all the way through from one all the way through to 28 without having to move between the cameras and select the cameras. So as I zoom back out now, you'll see that when we get to seven time zoom, it seamlessly moves on from that and then moves on from three time zoom back to one time zoom. This zoom is operated by using the right wheel on the controller and moving that in and out past the three and past the seven. So let's hit explore again. And it appears on both the photo and the video tab. Using Explore, push past the three, it'll carry straight past three, past the seven, all the way into 28, and then back out again, past the seven, past the three, and back out to one. And that's using Explore. Now, if we go into the single photograph, still images, there is no zoom feature on still images. The maximum you can go to is one times on the one camera, on the second camera, three times, and if we click the third camera, we can only go to seven times. We can't go beyond seven. 
So it's 7, 3 and 1 on the still images. For best results you should be at 1 times for the main camera, 3 times for the second camera and 7 times for the third camera. And the, the second camera is great for getting medium range shots. If you enjoyed this video then subscribe to the channel or watch the next video in the playlist or the new videos that we've just recently downloaded. Bye for now.